Hey, RV family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Marcer Serve You Got, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Hot Chip album entitled A Bath Full of Ecstasy. This is the seventh studio length album by the English synth pop and indie tronica band Hot Chip. Formed in 2000, they were also nominated for a Grammy, fun fact. And this album is tripping me up more than pretty much any other record I've covered recently, and I've been trying to wrap my head around it for days, so I'm just going to try to get my thoughts out there. I enjoy a lot of the ideas thrown into this bin, but I just feel like they're executed a little bit poorly. I can't always put my finger on it, but it just feels like something's missing, always. I find the vocals to be annoying a lot of times, but sometimes they can also come off as endearing and sweet. A lot of the indie tronica and synth pop ideas can feel a little half-brained and not really fully developed, but other times they can feel meticulous and very vibey. But I think I can boil down my general dislike for this record to two things. Number one, influences, and number two, a lot of very half-baked ideas poorly implemented. Like Melody of Love's intro sounds like it could be something off of an Elton John B-side, and its faux emotional qualities just don't hit me like a lot of songs from this genre can often do. I think the piano is super scant and very, very minimalist, and minimalism isn't inherently a bad thing, but when that minimalism sounds like every other piano minimalism in music, it's kind of a little bit annoying and grading. Spell sits over six minutes long and this is one of the tracks I can point to and say this is one of the reasons I somewhat dislike this record. This is actually one of my favorite tracks on the record and that's because it literally sounds like a Depeche Mode ripoff. No, seriously, go listen to this record. Go listen to Violator, this album right here. It's my favorite Depeche Mode album, and this track sounds like it's ripped out of the 90s Depeche Mode playbook, the Depeche Mode 90s era, from the embellishments it throws in on the background to the low bassy synth line, and even the way his vocals work on this track. It's almost painfully annoying just how much influence they took from Depeche Mode. Influence is one thing, but when you become Greta Van Fleet to Led Zeppelin for Depeche Mode, it just sounds weird and that kind of boils down a lot of my thoughts I think it's very uninspired whereas other bands might take influence from some album or some artist or some band that they really enjoy and implement it in an interesting way and put their own spin on it put their own voice on it I'm not hearing a lot of that with hot chip Tracks like Echo and the long single Hungry Child, as well as the track Positive, all have the right blueprint and the right foundation to be decent indie tronica songs, but a lot of times the way these instrumentals come together, the way the compositions are assembled production-wise, and the way these vocals slide along them just a lot of times leaves me cold and wanting more. And I love a lot of bands from this genre. I love a lot of artists from this genre. I love the blissfulness of the atmosphere they can conjure. But in my attempt at finding atmosphere and finding interesting ideas on this record, all I'm really left with is a base level, somewhat subpar, somewhat average, middle of the road, synth pop and indie tronic record that has a lot of tracks with a lot going for them, but not enough to give them that final little touch. I mean, Hot Chip created a pretty base level synth pop and indie tronic record. If you like either of those genres, you can definitely check this record out because you may enjoy it more than I did, but as is, as someone that does listen to this genre, I find it to be very half-brained, very half-baked. I think it's very uninspired, very tasteless a lot of times, and maybe it's just not for me. I'm going to be giving this out my 5 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen links of videos you might be interested in. Have you heard this new Hot Chip record? If you have, you can let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to discuss the record with you. Subscribe here if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. I'll talk to you next time. My name is Jay Morser, V-Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.